Hello, boys and girls. I'm going to read a book to you today. It's called If You Give a Moose a Muffin. And it's one of my favorite books by Laura Numeroff. And it has wonderful illustrations. That means the pictures are great. And I'll show you the first pictures. If you give a moose a muffin, he'll want to have some jam to go with it. So you'll bring out some of your mom's homemade blackberry jam. When he's finished eating the muffin, he'll want another, and another, and another. When they're all gone, he'll ask you to make some more. You'll have to go to the store to get some muffin mix. He'll want to go with you, of course. When he opens the door and feels how chilly it is, he'll ask to borrow a sweater. A moose and a sweater. When they're done, he'll want to put on a puppet show. He'll need some cardboard and some paints. Then he'll ask you to help make some scenery. When the scenery is finished, he'll, ask, he'll get behind the couch, but his antlers will stick out. So he'll ask for something to cover him up. You'll bring him a sheet from your bed. Good idea. When he sees the sheet, he'll remember he wants to be a ghost for Halloween. He'll try it on and shout, Boo! Oh, it'll scare him so much, he'll knock over the paints. Oh. So he'll use a sheet to clean up the mess. Then he'll ask for some soap to wash it in. He'll probably want to hang it, the sheet up out to dry. He'll go outside and put it on the clothesline. When he's out in the yard, he'll see his mother's blackberry bushes. Hmm, I wonder what that'll mean. Seeing the blackberries will remind him of her jam. Yes. He'll probably ask you for some. And chances are, if you give him the jam, he'll want to have a muffin to go with it. There we went all the way back to the muffin, didn't we? What a great story. Thank you for letting me read for you.